This is the Gear 360 camera. Um, what you see here is two 195 degree lenses um, that can actually stitch together a, a you know, full fisheye image so that what you end up with is a full 360 degree image. Um, I'll do a little run through the camera first. So the camera itself has a removable battery, micro SD card slot, and it works with um, NFC, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi to pair with the devices. So it actually is using Wi-Fi direct to communicate with the Galaxy S7 device. Um, we will have compatibility for some older Samsung devices. We haven't gone specific on announcing which models that will be, but as you can imagine, uh, transferring that much data requires a very powerful device, and stitching this together into a cohesive 360 degree image or video um, also requires just a lot of power, so we're still kind of evaluating what will work best with that. Um, you can shoot photos just with, or shoot video, just with the Gear 360 without having your camera, or, um, without having your phone around, um, or you can actually use the phone for live video preview. So here I'm actually, I've got a live preview of what's going on on screen. I can control it from here. And the cool thing is something that really kind of hasn't been done easily before on VR is that I can set the camera down here and then I can hide so that I'm not in the shot. Um, because filming VR, you don't want the director, the boom mics, everything like that in the shot. So I can set it up over here, I can see my live preview, and then I can go into another room. So I'm actually going to, we'll take a couple seconds of video. Uh, everyone please wave. I can't wave because I'm holding the camera. Okay. And I'll show you how this works. So now here's my app. And I can preview it here, or I can save it directly to the device. Um, then I'm going to stitch it together. It takes about three seconds to stitch every second or so of video. Um, and then once I have that stitched, it's here on my mobile device and then I can play it, I can move around while I'm playing it. Um, there's sort of a lot of interesting ways that you can see it. And of course, best of all, I can then view it on my Gear 360, I mean my Gear VR. Um, it works with the Gear VR, or you can just view it on a normal phone. You can share 360 videos, um, even with folks who don't have a Gear VR. You can then just kind of view it in the panning on the phone. Um, but I have a really nice sample here. I'll pass around, let everyone take a look. Uh, we took this to a nice ski jump and we filmed some cool video using the Gear 360 camera. So the video that you see here on the Gear VR was actually shot with a Gear 360 camera. This is very early still, so we don't have final software. We can't say everything is final on this, so that's why I'm not really sharing a lot of the videos that we've shot with this here. Um, but this was genuinely shot on one of these devices. So that is Gear 360. Resolution is just under 4K, so it's 3840 by 1920 resolution total. Um, you should get about, let's see, it takes micro SD card slots up to 128 gigabytes. We're saying at the bit rate it films, you'll get about four minutes per every gigabyte of available storage that you have. Um, and of course, removable batteries, which is really nice. Um, depending on your resolution, you could record for estimated maybe up to two hours total with the battery charge, um, and then you can just swap out your batteries as well.